Guys, two words. Pot roast. This recipe is brought to you today by my dad. He uses a variety of spices and sauces and so he kind of just eyeballs everything in. So I'll try my best to put all the measurements in the description below. First we start off with some aromatics. Peel up some ginger, garlic and lemongrass. Use a mortar and pestle to grind up the aromatics. If you don't have one of these, you can also use a food processor or a blender of some sort. As we are grinding, we can add in some curry leaves, cinnamon, some cardamom pods, and some cloves. Mix up all the aromatics really well, and what we want is a nice paste-like consistency, as shown. Now for the meat, we'll be using two lamb leg roasts. To prepare the meat, what we can do is score the meat um, here we're using a fork and we're just uh, kind of stabbing it everywhere so that all the flavor and marinades gets inside the lamb. Also don't hesitate to cut off any extra fat caps because they uh, become really chewy when it's cooked. Place the meat in a large pot and you can add in Salt, roasted curry powder, pepper, turmeric, curry powder, paprika, chili powder, and finally we add in our aromatics paste that we crushed up before. And for the wet ingredients, we start off with white wine vinegar, some Worcestershire W sauce, some soy sauce, and some tomato sauce, some honey, and also half a lime. Mix everything up really well and leave it for an hour to overnight. The longer you leave it, the more delicious your pot roast will be. Please be patient. If this good boy can be patient, so can you. After the marinade is done, we add in about eight cups of water, just enough so it covers it about halfway. And now we add in some stuff we forgot to add in earlier, some star anise and some bay leaves. Place it on high heat until it comes to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, what you want to do is reduce the heat and cover it up. And we want to let it slowly cook for about two hours. After about one and a half hours, preheat your oven. Check your meat and if it's tender, we can take it off the heat. Move the meat into the oven and let it cook for another 20 minutes. Whilst the meat is in the oven, cook down the gravy until it's a super thick consistency, like this. Once the meat looks like this, you can take it out of the oven. Drizzle some of that delicious gravy on top. Slice it up, serve and enjoy. Thanks so much for watching gamers. I hope you enjoyed. Please try this yourself and uh, stay safe. Stay safe and stay indoors, guys. Alright, DevDog out.